Welcome to Max's Garage Mahal. Well, we're going to do a little deal today that is about putting a deck bumper on a Hustler Raptor SD or even a Hustler Raptor Limited or Standard. Yes, you can do it and all it's going to require is going to be a few simple tools, a couple of drill bits, a punch. You can even use a punch like this right here. This is called a center punch. Just place it on the metal, push it, makes a dip. It's really sharp. Really would hurt if you pushed it in your skin enough to make it punch. Okay, so I'm going to take you into the lawnmower room here in a minute. Actually, it's the uh, it's a large portion of the garage where the cars are supposed to be, but don't seem like there's ever been a car in there. Uh, other than backing it in to get parts in and out of. Okay, so also I wanted to show you this some of my new merchandise here that I have in stock on hand. Uh, this is the uh, denim look MGM Max's Garage Mahal cap and it's got the, uh, this is the screen print. These caps are going to be less expensive than the embroidered so stand by we'll have your price on it. I made a rat rod cap. Pink is not my favorite color so I thought well to, to do a little practice run on a, to make a rat rod cap. What do y'all think about that guys? Pretty nasty isn't it? Well it looks pretty ratty. So there you are ladies, there's your rat rod cap if you like pink. So uh, anyway we're going to go ahead and move into the garage and set up the camera, show you what is going to be required to do the job. It's really simple. Number one you're going to have to have the deck bumper from Hustler and uh, I'll put a link down below as well as a part number for it. But it's all it is, it's a, you can use the um, new Hustler Raptor SDX deck bumper or the fast track disc bump, deck bumper and I think the one I have is the uh, fast track but they're the same part number so it really doesn't matter okay so by the way we want to say thank you to uh, Mass Depot for uh, hooking us up with those Mass FX tires and you'll see those in the video shortly as well so stay tuned we'll be right back okay here we are set up in the uh, with the old Hustler Raptor SD and uh, I laid a few tools out here that you're going to need and I mentioned the center punch a while ago you don't have to use a center punch I didn't lay out a punch, you know what a punch looks like you probably have one if you don't you probably have to get one, borrow one, something so we're going to need a center punch we're going to need some bolts we're going to need some washers nuts you can either double nut or you can use uh, Loctite on your nuts or you can use a locking washer on your bolts and what I used is I'm going to give you two choices here you can use if you're pretty rough on your lawnmower I would say put these things on with quarter inch these are just plain old fender bolts and uh, these are pretty tough these are these are only grade 5 I'd rather strip this then tear up the lawnmower deck. This is a 5 16 right here and you can see the difference in size and um, I would recommend if you're really rough to use a quarter inch if you're not go ahead and use a, a 5 16 you can use a 3 8 um, I don't recommend a 3 8 and I'll show you why. Alright and by the way let's go ahead and lay out one of these real quickly Let's do it. These are closer. And I'm going to show you the choices real quick. So you're going to go through your deck bumper with this fender bolt. You're going to go through the hole that you're going to make in the deck. And then you're going to put this on the inside of the deck. Bear in mind, this is your, this is your uh, deck bumper. Here's your washer. Then you're going to put a lock nut on it or this is a standard nut and I prefer to go behind it with a locking nut then lock the two together and what that's going to do for you is when you want this off all you need is two wrenches and on this particular if you go the quarter inch two seven sixteenths wrenches in wrenches you can use a box here and you can open in here 
pop them apart, screw this off your fingers most likely. Of course, it depends on how much rust you have under there by that time. And then pull this off and replace it as necessary. Or you can drop it on the floor. You don't have to worry about it then. And you can just double nut it with standard nuts. And you're going to hold this tight where it's at and then tighten this even further until it's semi-stretching the threads then it's locked together. So that's going to work real well and on top of that you could put Loctite in here at the same time. So that would be all kinds of precautions to keep that thing from falling off, getting loose because that deck is always vibrating no matter how smoothly and how well balanced your blades are. The belts are sitting there flopping between pulleys that's going to make some vibration which in turn is as the blades turn they're not turning 100% smoothly as those belts move it's it's always creating a shock in the blade as it goes around so bear that in mind now what else are you going to need I got you're going to need a deck bumper here's a genuine hustler deck bumper and as you can see I've already put it on and run a test on it and uh, I've tried not to be rough on it because I was actually going to make a mold of these things and make it this long so that it comes around the deck where you actually use it because these things are very short and as you're backing up and putting that deck on these 60s the, the great thing about these 60s is you see this this great amount of blade that sticks out past your tire that is a wonderful thing because I can back in and just and just back that blade right into a place that you can't do it with a 54 or a 48 or 42 so y'all bear with me just a minute I'll catch this phone and we'll start over okay requisite phone call that has to be made with every uh, every video is over and while I was at it, I went ahead and took lunch. So this has been about 30 minutes. So here we are. We're going to go ahead and show you how to install this. So I'm going to move the camera over here. Real quickly, I'm going to, before I move the camera, I'm going to run right down here and I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Because you need to know that this thing is, this particular part right here is in line with the frame. So that when you're going straight against a wall or an object, because sometimes you go straight down a wall, then, or a whatever, then this thing needs to be for, so that it's getting maximum protection on the, the deck. And I'll show you why here in a moment. I've worn mine down quite a bit, and this thing's not even got 50 hours on it yet, so... I can imagine you guys have got 300 or 1,000 or 3,000. You've probably worn almost through your deck. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do this real quickly. So let me move the camera over, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm not sure how well we're going to be able to see this. But what I've got on here is a square, and it's really just for eyeballing to get an idea of where... The distance from here to here, and the way you can do this that works really well. I usually will use a larger square. This just happened to be Hustler Yellow. Well, it's not Hustler Yellow. Anyway, so let me take this level off. This is a multifunction. I like multifunction tools. That's a multifunction tool. It's a level as well as a square. So here's what you can do you can come right over here to the frame, and you can measure that, and it's 20 and a quarter. Come right here and measure that, and it's 20 and a quarter. So I'm going to say that's pretty, pretty well square to the frame. So we know since that's square to the frame, that this part right here, if we put this on here, and I just messed it up, we put that on there about where it was right there, and line that up, then we know that this is going to be the maximum coverage for the outside of this deck. Let me measure it one more time, and I'll try not to jump it this time. Three quarter. And. Twenty quarter. And. Twenty quarter. Okay, there we go. 
So we're going to put Max's Grudge Mahal tape right down here for a second. We'll set this right up here. And that's where we're going to want it, right there. It's pretty well lined up. So you're going to take a clamp of any kind. This is just going to be the one I happen to have right here. And we're going to tighten her down. Get it up under here, like this. We're going to clamp this thing down. Just like that. Now then, I chose on mine, you can set this deck bumper all the way down against your enforcement bar here, your wear bar. I've got mine set nearly to the top. Now right now it is setting on this one just for demonstration purposes. But I brought mine up to the top to keep this from getting scratched in here. Then we're going to use these bumper bolts or carriage bolts and we're going to drill holes in here with starting out with first thing you're going to do what is that you're going to punch a hole on center now I took a pin after this is clamped where I wanted it and I made a circle in both holes and then I came in here and I punched a hole in the center of those circles and I started off with a little old, tiny 1 16th inch drill bit and drilled a hole. Checked it, made sure it's right where I wanted it, did it on both of them. I came back then with the 3 16th and if you're going to do quarter inch bolts then use a quarter inch bolt to finish it out. Now these bolts have got to go 90 degrees to the deck not this makes it look in the front of this bumper like it goes at an angle. You cannot do that. You could do that. But then on the back side of your deck, it's not going to pull in right and you will have messed up your deck a little bit. And you'd have to figure out a way to washer that out. And that's So just do it this way. Make sure you drill your hole 90 degrees to the deck. Now you're in business. Okay. Now in my particular case, we use 5 16 carriage bolts. So that's what we've got. I'm going to loosen this clamp just a tiny bit so that I can put these bolts in. Now why did we want to use carriage bolts? A, they have a rounded top so that as you wear through this right here, and you're going to, as you wear through this and you get down to this bolt, this bolt has a square shoulder so that allows it to hold itself while you tighten it up. It also being a rounded top, as you wear down your deck bumper, when it gets to this point, it's going to be a squealer or an indicator to tell you it's time to replace your deck bumper. So you want a rounded bolt. If you got a square bolt and you get down there and you keep wearing it, after a while it's going to hit that square bolt and you're going to have trouble. Because it's going to catch that deck and boy, it's going to spin your... No, it's not going to spin your around. But it's probably going to bend something or, or possibly break it so you don't want to do that so now we've got our holes drilled keep, keep, drill all oh, that's drilled okay so now all that's left to do is to run your bolts in here and then you're going to choose the bolts that you decided you wanted, the nuts you decided you wanted to use. But what are we going to do on the back side? We're going to washer these things. You can wash them a couple of times if you like, and that's not a bad idea. And then you're going to put your nuts on there. You're going to put on uh, either Loctite or double nut it, and or you can use a lock nut or locking nut, and that will then give you a deck bumper. Now let me clean all this out here out of the way. We'll back up and let you see what that's going to look like when the job's completed and all the tools and craps out of the way here. And there you'll have it guys. A Hustler Raptor 
Boy, I was holding that with one hand on a round rod, and that was going all over the place, wasn't it? There you go. Hustler Raptor with an SDX, Hustler Raptor SDX, or a Hustler Fast Track deck bumper. And as you can see where that's located right there, do you see all the wear? I've painted that here a while back, but I went ahead and, and wore that down in the last two mowings so I could show you for this video, actually I think it's three, to get enough wear and tear on there so you could see this up close and nice and pretty so that with this out of the way, and that's not bolted on because you can hear me while I've been doing this. This is nearly flat right here. It's not got a lot of wear on it, but it's got enough that you can see it looking down at it. You can see that it's getting flat right in there. So that's the reason why if you want to put a deck bumper on, that's the reason so that you don't wear out the deck itself. So let me set up and we'll finish this thing up here and move the camera. Be right back. Okay, here we are guys. So that's pretty much how you're going to do the deck bumper for a Hustler Raptor Big Dog Alpha, even a Big Dog Alpha MP. This is off of a Big Dog Alpha MP, which it's not off of. Actually, it's off a helicopter. You don't see it on it, do you? Okay, bad joke. So anyway, we appreciate you coming by. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. We've had questions on how do you do a deck bumper. I was originally building a deck bumper, and I um, abused it pretty much. Tried to knock down one of the pedestals out in front of the garage mahal out here, and um, I didn't succeed on that, but I did succeed in stopping the lawnmower from eight mile an hour and sort of bumping it sideways and chipping a block or part of the, current, the brick. Not good because I paid a lot of money to build those brick pedestals. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it. And um, by all means, put one of those on there. It'll help save your deck. And um, we hope you go by and pick up some of this merchandise. And here's the old cap or the old hat that you see me wearing all the time. And I did this the other day. I don't know if you like it or not. But I should have gone with a little darker color, don't you think? That's a little too light. But I figured I didn't want a whole lot of dark color on there because it would make it hotter. But that's one ugly son of a gun right there, isn't it? But anyway, it's got the logo on it. And uh, everything ought to have the logo. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Appreciate you coming by Max's Garage Mahal. Be sure and share. Be sure and like, if you would. And um, hit that subscribe button if you hadn't already. We got other things coming down the pike. Uh, the winter time's coming up. Uh, it's 47 degrees this morning in Arkansas when we got up. So it's going to be cool enough that the yard's not going to need to be mowed much longer. So we've got things like uh, we're going to do an oil filter, um, an oil. We're going to do oil filter sandwich, which you're going to remove the oil filter. You're going to remove the oil filter mount. And we're going to put in a new mount in a filter sandwich that allows us to put an oil cooler on. And the little motor will last a lot longer if the oil stays cooler. So we're going to put an oil cooler on it. At that time, we'll probably do a couple of different videos so that you can follow along a little easier. Uh, the engine will have to be taken loose and lifted about an inch and a quarter to be able to screw out the valve and more importantly to screw in the new valve and that new valve is a thumb lever operated so that and it is stout you're going to need a good thumb to move that you push the, the lever in and then you turn it that allows the oil to flow out of the crankcase so we're going to put one of those on the machine uh, let's see we'll also put a drain hose at the end of that valve and the way that'll work is you just pull it out. I'm going to have a holder on the side of the motor up high. It'll also have that drain hose will also have a uh, rubber sealed cup, sealing cup on it made out of brass. So that when it's not being used as a drain, it'll be a backup. So that in case you forget to close your valve, when you put that nut on that um, drain hose, then you've got a second drain hose lockout so that you can't lose your motor oil. 
So we're going to do that. We're, we're going to put a little bracket on the side of the engine to hold it up when it's not being used as a drain hose. So that way, when you're checking your oil and you're doing a walk around before you mow, you can look up there and make sure that cap's on. Uh, let's see. We've got other things coming down. We're going to go back and, and we've had people ask me to do the um, full installation on the seat gas shocks. So this is going to have a dual on it. And I haven't redone that because I waited to do it on a video for you guys. Have that coming down the pike. Uh, it'll be a dual, as I said. We've got, um, let's see, we're also doing a, once we get the metal made, we haven't made it yet. But this seat retention to keep the seat from going forward to a certain place. We've got the prototype on there. It works perfectly. I've still got the belt, the old uh, flat seat retention strap here. I like that because I can reach over and grab it and pull the seat back to me. So anyway, I probably, even after it has two shocks, uh, seat retainer, most likely that's going to stay in place just so I can use it to help pull the seat back without having to walk around the motor to grab it. Um, but anyway, there are other, other things coming down the pike. We hope you enjoy them. Hope you get something out of the videos as you watch each one. We again hope you'll share and bring us in more subscribers, more viewers, and we're always looking for companies to come aboard that supplies parts for the mowers. If you would like to become involved with Max's Garage from Hall and give our viewers, subscribers, and our Hustler Mower Group and Big Dog Alpha Group, our Big Dog Mower Group uh, discount, we're we're going to spread out into Bad Boy, uh, Spartan. Uh, we're going to go into all the more groups and the forums. We've got a new forum that's up and operational. We've been using it a little bit and it works just fine. We just hadn't made it open to the public yet. But for all you manufacturers, all of you dealers out there, all you retailers that would like to have more of our customers and our viewers and subscribers business, all it requires is giving a 10, 15, 20 or 25 percent discount to our viewers. And the way we do that is you get with me and help us out. We will ask our customers to buy from you. And if you'll give them a discount and use MGM 10, MGM 15, MGM 20, 25, or 50%, whatever you choose, then if they put an MGM in your discount code and give them a discount, We'd like to have you aboard because that's what we're trying to do is grow the community. And, uh, and we have a more movement going on. It's, it's called the more sports for a takeoff on the motorsports. So guys, we appreciate you. We have uh, Mass Depot on board, which thank you, Mass Depot. And we've got the decal right down here. I'll make sure you see that before we leave. If you can't see it there, and I believe, let me walk over here. I believe you can see it. Yes, you can. There's that. Mass Depot decal, and we got the Mass FX decal on the fender uh, for the Mass FX tires. Great tires, love them to death, and this thing's doing a fantastic job. We got Fuel Works, which is a fuel filling can. It's let me tell you something. That is a fantastic can, and we appreciate uh, Mr. Hooper and his group. We appreciate Shane Smith over at uh, Mass Depot. We appreciate Trine. Trine, I'm sorry I forget your last name because I don't read Chinese very well, actually at all. And I don't want to mispronounce your last name, so we appreciate you guys over at Bizway and Lasica Batteries. Thank you very much. Again, we hope you'll pick up some of our merchandise to help support the channel. Thank you again. That's about five thank yous. Uh, we do appreciate you coming by Max's Garage Mahal. Y'all come back and see us now. You hear?